Hi friends, I'm Amol Shinde. Welcome to my channel. This is me. I initiated a new series called Prelim Special in which I will be dealing with each and every topic of prelims that is complete prelims preparation. Along with every topic, topic wise questions will be held. I will be offering free test papers from various reputed institutions as well and also providing the rocking logic that is tricks for which my channel is famous if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel and enjoy the lectures the motion of the earth the rotation is the movement of the earth on its axis rotation kya hota hai rotation is the movement of the earth on its axis revolution what is the revolution revolution is the movement of the earth around the sun so revolution around the sun in fixed path or orbit the axis of the earth which is imaginary line makes an angle of 66 and half degree with its orbital plane jo axis hai earth ka jo ki ek imaginary line hai wo ek angle banata hai 66 and half degree ka with the orbital plane the circle that divides the day from the night called as a circle of illumination okay so days and nights separated are by the circle of illumination revolution of the earth around the sun requires 365 and 1/4 days okay to complete one rotation that is extra 6 hour each year because we consider only 365 days so extra 6 hour each year so when we consider that after 4 years then it will be 24 hours extra so that's why in the month of february there is a leap year of 29 days instead of 28 days we call it as a leap year and that is because of this reason the earth revolves around the sun in elliptical orbit earth revolves around the sun in elliptical orbit the nights are longer than days this position of the earth called summer solstice nights are longer than days summer solstice the longest day and shortest nights occur on 21st june when the full earth experiences the equal days and equal night we call it as equinox direct rays of the sun falls on equator on 21st march march there is a summer season that's why we can consider direct rays of the sun falls on equator on 21st march cycle of season is caused due to revolution okay cycle of season caused due to revolution not by the rotation so revolution is important cycle of seasons it is revolution and cycle of days and night it about rotation okay due to rotation the sun rays fall vertically on tropic of cancer on 21st june tropic of cancer sun rays 21st june major domains of the earth now we are going to see major domains of the earth the solid portion of the earth on which we live is called as lithosphere and the gaseous layer surrounded the earth is called as atmosphere the cover of water on the earth called as hydrosphere so here lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere lithosphere made up of land then gaseous layer that is atmosphere and hydrosphere that is water biosphere is the zone where we find land water and air together lithosphere rocks of the earth crust and thin layer of the soil so what is it crust and layer of the soil land masses we call it as continents and huge water bodies we call it as ocean basins largest depth is recorded at mariana trench in pacific ocean important one mariana trench pacific ocean largest depth continents now asia is the largest continent it covers one third of the land of the earth then it's 
it is lies in eastern hemisphere the tropic of cancer passes through it that's why i consider it as a c yeah that is c c for s okay so that is cancer tropic of cancer ural mountain separated the asia and europe important one ural mountain separated the asia and europe and if asia and europe we want to call it together it will be eurasia europe now next continent is europe much smaller than asia lies west to asia arctic circle passes through it so consider europea pia last a is for arctic circle bound by water bodies in three sides so europe bounded by water in three sides africa it's the second largest continent equator passes almost middle of it large part of it in the northern hemisphere okay africa is in northern hemisphere large part of it okay tropic of cancer capricorn and equator passes through this continent means three of them cancer capricorn and equator passes through this continent so africa important one the sahara desert the world's largest hot desert uh, and world's longest river nile flows through africa so nile and sahara okay consider as nasa very simple nasa okay nile and sahara north america north america is the third largest continent and which connected south america through isthmus of panama it lies in northern and western hemisphere south america lies mostly in southern hemisphere and is world's largest mountain ranges run through it from north south world's largest river amazon consider as amazon amazon as for that is south that's why amazon australia is the smallest continent lies in northern hemisphere all sides surrounded by the ocean and seas so australia all side are surrounded by ocean and seas this is so called island continent then antarctica southern and huge continent covered by thick ice sheet okay there is only ice no permanent human settlement is there India's research stations are there called as Maitri and Gangotri hydrosphere 97% of the earth's water is found in the ocean which is too salty for human use okay and that is dangerous too then 71% of the area of the earth is covered with water and 29% is land then ocean 3 chief movements of the ocean water which are the waves tides and ocean currents consider pi that is pacific atlantic india and then arctic okay so pacific is the biggest ocean then atlantic then indian then arctic ocean so that is why i called it as pi pacific ocean 1/3 of the earth circular in shape atlantic ocean it is the busiest ocean okay so ab i call it ab that is atlantic ocean busiest ocean indian ocean indian ocean is triangular in shape then next atmosphere atmosphere is made up of some layers we call it as first layer from down its troposphere okay starting from the earth then stratosphere it will be here then mesosphere here thermosphere here and exosphere it will be here okay so by this way our atmosphere made up of some layers these are the layers nitrogen we have the nitrogen in atmosphere 78% oxygen that is 21% the density of atmosphere is maximum at sea level sea level maximum density of atmosphere and decreases rapidly as we go up that is why the climbers 
uses the oxygen cylinder. CO2, CO2 is required to maintain the temperature hot, but rise in it contribute to global warming. The major constituents of atmosphere by percent is nitrogen. Here you can see by percent, it is the biggest one. The highest mountain peak on the earth is Everest. Which one? Everest, highest mountain peak on earth. Major landform, major landforms of the earth. Internal process leads to upliftment and sinking of the earth surface at several places. Okay, upliftment and sinking that is internal process. External process it's a continuous wearing down and rebuilding of the land surface. Then the wearing away of the earth surface is called as erosion. And rebuilding is by the process of deposition. Landforms divided on their elevation and slopes that is mountains, plateaus and plains. Mountains usually small summit but broad base that we call mountain and that is are too high. Permanently frozen mountains are called glaciers. We cannot see but some mountains are under the sea. Mainly three types of mountains fold mountain, block mountain and volcanic mountain. Okay, Alps and Andes mountain ranges of Asia. Important one. Fold mountains, Himalaya and Alp. These are young fold mountains. Arvali, it's oldest, one of the oldest fold mountain. So we have to remember which are the fold mountains, which are the block mountains, which are given in the NCRT. Appalachian that is present in North America. So consider is Apla North America that is Hamara North America. Ural mountain. Ural mountain is in Russia. Have rounded feature and low elevation. It is both. It is old as well as fold. Block mountain. They are created when large areas are broken and displaced vertically. For example, this is the mountain. If this area is broken, then it will be like this. Okay. This is the broken area. To our uplifted block, we call it as host. And lower block it is Graben. So this is Graben. Rhin Valley and Vosges Mountain Europe are the example of this one. Example of block mountain. Rhine Valley and Vosges Mountain, the examples of block mountain. Volcanic mountains formed due to volcanic activity. Kalimanjaro, Africa and Fujiyama, Japan are the examples of volcanic mountains. Kalimanjaro, Africa and Fujiyama, Japan. Mountains are mountains sometimes are the storehouse of the water, sometimes rich with the variety of flora and fauna source of rivers in glacier in mountain the next idyllic site for the tourist so mountains are very important very crucial for us plateaus plateaus are flat top table land standing above the surrounded area from 100 meter to 1000 meter Deccan Plateau, India is one of the oldest plateau. East African Plateau is present in Kenya. Okay, these are the examples of plateaus. Then rich in mineral deposits. Plateaus are rich in mineral deposits. African Plateau, for example, famous for the gold and diamond mining. Iron, coal and manganese found in Chota Nagpur Plateau. Waterfall can found Waterfall can be found in plateaus, uh, for example, Sabarnarekha and Jok fall from Karnataka. Lava plateau, rich in black soil. And that are fertile and good for the cultivation. Now plains. Plains are nothing but the flat land. Plains are large stretches of the flat land. Not more than 200 meters of the mean sea level. 
and generally plains are very fertile okay so you can grow crop 